Hey there guys, Trogdor here, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a updated uh, 3x3 piston door. Just a normal one, because my original normal 3x3 piston door broke a while ago, and I thought maybe I should just, you know, fix it. Uh, a couple things to note about the video, I started... Uh, doing the tutorial a little bit differently uh, let me know what you think about that anyways let's uh, see what this thing can do so if we press the button it opens up and we press it again it closes and as you can see from this it is a very compact 3x3 door so yeah, anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys. Now your uh, build is going to be 3 by 7. And it is going to be 4 deep. So this block up here will be where your floor is. So let's get on with the tutorial. So up here is going to be the front, and the first thing you're going to do is put a temporary block right there, dead in the middle, up front. And then you're going to put two sticky pistons on top of that temporary block. Then you're going to go ahead and delete that. And basically what we're going to do here is just set up the all the pistons for the door itself. So from that piston we're going to go put a block of choice right there. I'm using quartz for it. Uh, these will be able to be seen. So you go put one there and one there. Then you're going to put a temporary block there. Well, whatever. And then three blocks on top of that temporary block. Then you're going to put temporary block there, three blocks there, temporary block there, three blocks there. And then you can delete those. Now we're going to put in the rest of the pistons for the door. So we're going to need one right here. So we'll put a temporary block there. Piston right there facing that way. And all these are sticky pistons, by the way. And place one there and one there. And then go ahead and get rid of that one. And then on this side, we don't need a piston there. But we do need two right here. And then we can delete these right here. And then on the top, we're going to put temporary block there. Get rid of these temporarily. We'll replace them right after we place these pistons. So there we go. Three pistons like that. Get rid of that. Replace your blocks of choice. Like so. And those are all the pistons for the doors, the door itself. We do use one in a mono stable later. Now we're going to extend all these blocks of choice outwards by two, like so. Okay, now we're going to do the closing circuit. Uh, to do that we're going to come to this corner right here just underneath this block. Follow that down to the bottom. Place a temporary block right there. Then we're going to place a dropper facing straight up. As you can see it's in line with this block here. Then we're going to place a Drop it right facing that way. We're going to place a hopper facing into this dropper. We can get rid of this block. Then we're going to place a comparator coming out of this dropper. And that's our T flip flop. And then we can place 
any item into this hopper it doesn't matter what it is it will flow into this dropper and that's fine next we're going to be using uh, yellow stain clean for this circuit so we're going to place a block in front of this comparator a block right there and then you're going to take an observer place it right there and we're going to delete that observer right there and we're going to place a redstone dust right there go place two blocks there with two repeaters like that put them both on two ticks and we're going to place a block in front of that repeater we're going to place a torch right there with a block on top of it torch right there on top of that block and you're going to place a block there with redstone dust on top of it and you're going to place a block right here and a block right here then you're going to place a repeater right here on three ticks and then we're going to come in here and this is the repeater we just placed so here's that block go place a block there go place a block not there <laughs> go place a block here and we're going to place a repeater on one tick right there and we're going to place a torch on that block a block on top of that torch and then a torch on the inside on that block and that is our closing circuit and as you can see from deleting the block behind that observer it pulsed this that's okay just replace this like that okay now we're going to get on with the opening circuit so to do that we're going to come from this side over here we're going to take a sticky piston place it right there facing that way go place redstone dust on top of it then you're going to place an observer right there facing out this way then you're going to place redstone dust in front of that observer then you're going to place a block right in front of that dust I'm using green for the opening circuit from that block we're going to place a repeater right there on two ticks we're going to place a block in front of it we're going to place two redstone right there like that we're going to place a comparator right there a comparator right there make sure this one is facing that way and that one's facing this way then you go place two blocks right there. Go place a block right there on top of that observer. And then two blocks right there. And then you go place a block right there. Then you're gonna place half slabs right there like that. And now we just need to place some redstone dust and repeaters. So down here, going directly into this this uh, sticky piston. Wow, brain fart. Uh, yeah, going into the sticky piston, a two tick repeater. Then redstone dust coming up to here like that. Then you go place two repeaters right here on three ticks delay each so click them twice and then you're just going to bring redstone dust directly up there like that and now all we have to do is hook up the pistons on top of the door to do that we come over to this side and we put a block on top of this torch and we go put redstone dust on that block and going up that sticky piston and then bring it around like this all the way around like that onto that piston and then black here and dust there 
And that is it, really. So the store should be functioning. So now if we put power to this uh, dropper right here, it will power it. So any way you want to do that, I'll put a dust on top of it like so. And a button right there. And now it will shut. And it opens. Simple as that. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video and found the tutorial helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel. Uh, feel free to share this video with any community you can think of. Uh, anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.